Welcome to the TP-Link tutorial on how to expand the range of your wireless network. This tutorial covers a repeater function for TP-Link access points. Say your root router is located at one end of the house, in this case the bedroom. But as you go to the other end of your house, you have spots the signal does not reach. Here is where the TP-Link repeater can help. By placing a repeater in the low signal area, it can boost signal strength to reach areas unreachable by the router alone. It is three steps to successfully set up the repeater. Step one, gather information from the wireless router. Step two, set the access point into repeater mode. Step three, check for internet connection. We begin with step one. Connect your PC to the wireless router. Then find the wireless name, wireless security type, and wireless password. As an example, we will use a TLWR1043 as the wireless router. We will access the configuration page of the router and sign into its page. Open the web browser and enter the default IP address 192.168.1.1. The username and password are both admin. This information is for the TLWR1043 and D. For other routers, you need to check with the corresponding manufacturer. From here, we will look for the network name, also known as the SSID. Next, we access the wireless settings and obtain the security type and password. This needs to match exactly on the repeater and is key sensitive. Now we have the SSID or network name, security type, encryption settings, and password. Now we can configure the TP-Link access point into repeater mode. Connect your PC to the TP-Link access point. Then set a static IP to the PC and finally set the access point as a repeater. To set the IP on your computer, you need to get into the properties of your local area connection. Then access the TCP IP settings and select use the following IP address. For the IP address, enter 192.168.1.100. Then click Subnet Mask and it should appear automatically. Click OK to save the settings. Now the IP configuration is complete. We can access the configuration page on the access point. Open your browser and enter the IP address for the access point, 192.168.1.254. Sign in using admin as the username and admin as the password. By default, the access point works in access point mode. You need to change the operation mode to universal repeater. Then click survey to access the list of available networks. Find your network on the list and click connect. Then save the settings. Next, access the wireless security settings. Here, the information from the root router must match exactly. You will need the security type, encryption and password, which is key sensitive. Select the correct security settings and enter the password. Then save the settings. You will be asked to reboot the access point. Click the link to reboot and it will restart the access point. Once it has rebooted, please refresh the page and you will see the wireless settings now set to universal repeater. You should also see the same SSID as your wireless router. A solid channel indicates successful connection. Go back to the TCP IP settings of your computer and set them to obtain automatically. Your repeater should now be fully functional and you can now plug the cable from the access point. Connect your wireless devices to the signal and enjoy your wireless network to access the internet.